Joe and I just came off doing our uh, annual Christmas festival. Uh, uh, we did a concert at the Schimmel Center yesterday downtown, and then the 23rd annual uh, Rob Mathis thing that uh, Sunny purchased. And um, so I'm kind of shot that if we didn't do this Tina Schaefer holiday circle, it would not be Christmas. Uh, so we're going to croak through here. Was that a beautiful song from Mr. Forster? I must say, oh, we're going to hang later, because I'm in it like a Dickens. I've been reading nothing but Dickens, so it's kind of surreal he wrote that song. Everybody here should check out his second story, written one year after A Christmas Carol. It's called The Chimes, and it's amazing. It's dark. But it has the same thing. It's this little ticket porter that sits outside of this church. And in the, the, those days, I'm really going to get boring now and make this quick. In those days, a ticket porter would be someone who would deliver letters around town, door to foot of the church. And he's such, he's like one of these insecure guys that just is so admires the gentry, you know, that when they talk to him, he's like, you know, and, and these people come out of the church, right? And they're like, well, what are you doing here? Why are you doing that? They're putting him down. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry, sir. And he has this experience, not unlike Scrooge, where him condemning his own class and what they go through and the dignity of their lives is his great sin. And the goblins of the chimes say, you have done us wrong. It's incredible. So anyway, God bless you, baby. Dear Mr. Dickens. <laughs> So I wrote, I, I, we had to do some new stuff. I wrote a bunch of stuff for the Christmas show, and I wrote this for Vanny's Thomas, this incredible rhythm and blues singer. Uh, and it's drawn from a Langston Hughes poem called On a Pallet of Straw. And I love the first stanza. They did not travel on an airplane. They did not travel by car. They did not travel on a streamlined train. They traveled on foot from afar. Oh. 
hope and joy to lay it down.